I have to say, when we think Jankers, we usually think Third Reich and the war effort. But that is not quite the case. Explain to us why. No, it's not really correct, because uh, you must know that he died in 1935. Uh, after being persecuted by the Third Reich, by Göring, who was his personal enemy, enemy, and uh, uh, he uh, his all his factories for airplanes and for airplane motors uh, were taken away, uh, uh, and uh, in the in the in the time before, and he was persecuted. That's right, uh, and even arrested. And uh, they, they wanted to bring him, or they said to him, we can bring you to the concentration camp. And uh, he had to live in his uh, holiday house. Uh, it, it was forbidden that his family came in touch with him and all his employees. But the official version was that Professor Junkers has retired and wanted to do something else, no more airplanes. And so uh, it's a pity uh, that his name was used for the airplanes who uh, brought, uh, uh, he would destroy Europe and who had a, a, a bad influence, let me say so. That's a sad story and I'm glad we can bring that out in the open. Tell us uh, what he did to his police and guards at the <laughs> age of 75. Now, uh, <laughs> he was uh, 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 house arrest, uh, arrest, in inter arrest, house arrest, house arrest, yeah. arrested in uh, Barcel in Bavaria, where he had his uh, uh, vacation house, and uh, nobody could uh, come in touch with him. Only two policemen had to guard him, and but he was good. Uh, how do you call? Hiking. It? Uh, well, uh, was very good in hiking, climbing up the mountains. And he, it was a fun for him to uh, show those two policemen who had to guard him <laughs> how, how quick this old uh, 74 um, uh, years old professor could climb up the mountains. And they were, how do you call it, sehr außer Atem, sans allein in French. Out of breath. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. I am sure they got a good workout in. Yeah. And I'm glad he got a little bit of revenge that way. Yeah, yeah. So explain to us, what is your <clears throat> connection to the company now? Uh, I'm a good friend of uh, Dieter Moschek, and I'm glad that he uh, uh, is now uh, building those uh, old historical uh, airplanes and uh, was the shape of the uh, airplanes at that time but it was new equipment uh, like uh, the avionic and so on, so that those airplanes can fly now as they were uh, handled in the, in the past and uh, that we can see the Utes 52 or uh, this wonderful airplane. I love it, I love it. It's a really <laughs> uh, wonderful airplane, uh, can be seen in the sky. That is amazing. So these are based on the original plans? Those are based. Uh, and everything began in the year 1915, when uh, Hugo Junkers uh, proved uh, for the first time that uh, metal can fly. At that time, everybody said, oh, this professor must be silly. I iron or steel can't fly. But uh, this is a very good proof for this. You can have an ultralight uh, uh, aircraft, uh, which uh, is uh, less than 600 kilo, and it flies, and it doesn't look like that. Yeah, it, it looks like a hochwertig, uh, uh, well, what's it? higher value, than High, higher value airplane than uh, an ultralight ultralight airplane. Well, I suppose you're really, really proud that you first of all get to clean up the Yonkers name a little bit mm -hmm. and have this amazing heritage yeah. flying. Yeah, and I believe there will be a lot of uh, people. Uh, uh, Hugo is supposed this, this airplane for uh, not the very rich people, but for those people who have a normal income at that time. Uh, he wanted to uh, build an a, a aircraft for the people 
for uh, normal people. Mm. And uh, but at that time, the Weltwirtschaftskrise. Oh, the. Uh economic crisis. It, it, uh, in, in 1929 mm -hmm. uh, 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 had, uh, had the effect that uh, the people have hadn't as much money to buy an airplane like this. Uh, but uh, you see, uh, this is, there is a, a continuous uh, uh, development. From 1915, the first airplane was full of steel, completely made of steel because aluminium was uh, 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 only used for zeppelin, oh. uh, for air, for, uh, air mm -hmm. zeppelin. Uh, and, uh, but later on, he built those airplanes with, uh, uh, from aluminium. And then the next airplane, the next important airplane was the F-13, uh, which I love also very much, and you also. <laughs> 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 and this was the first uh, all-metal airplane uh, of, of the world, aircraft. Uh, and uh, then this follows. Uh, this was supposed to be for the normal people. And now uh, I believe this comes true because this is a very uh, uh, good to handle airplane. And uh, it's uh, good for, uh, in maintenance, good in handling low uh, cost so I believe this will have a good future uh, so because I would buy an airplane like this but perhaps my, my daughter will do with this you basically come full circle there <laughs> yeah.